Well, hey, and good morning. It is one of those iconic Southern California mornings after a storm where everything's all clean and green. We are here on the east side of Los Angeles in the neighborhood of Boyle Heights, specifically Hollenbeck Park. On today's installment of LA Trash Diary, we are going to head over the 6th Street Bridge. Uh oh. So apparently in the 1890s, the thing to do was to make a park to establish a neighborhood to draw residents. And this area became one of many LA streetcar suburbs. The park's in pretty good shape. I don't really see any litter at all. Just a few pieces here and there. Morning. Morning. Nice place to chill out on a Saturday morning. So by all metrics, this is a wonderful little park here. Especially because of all the rain we've gotten, everything's nice and green and lush. In the infinite wisdom of 1950s thinking, this was determined to be a slummy neighborhood and thus prime real estate for an interstate to quickly be built. Not going around the park, but right over the park. Hey, do you guys mind at all if I grab the trash right there? All right. I won't scare the fish. <laughs> they're not, they're not scared of you. Yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty tough fish, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, it's not, a, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty clean up there. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Oh, uh, it's a vin. Is that 99 cent store? You might want to say bass. Oh yeah, it's a reef. Yeah. Well, cleaning trash out of the water is a little messier, so maybe I'll just come up with a plan here. So you're never going to be able to get everything. There's so many little bits of floating styrofoam and stuff, but I got some of the more egregious. So it's just a little cleaner, but the wet stuff is a pain in the butt because I don't like to carry it around with me.
99 cent store. We got to make a little dent. We did uh, clean this up a little bit, but again, it's it's been pretty windy, so a lot of the trash was blown in from somewhere else, and the trash that was here blew someplace else. So normally if I didn't have my camera in my bucket, I would cut over to the bridge by going through here, but I am going to forego that today. So according to this, this is scheduled to be cleaned on April the 8th. So on 4-5, which is today at 7 a.m., they put on notice that this area has to be completely moved out. See the gates closed, they didn't, they didn't like me going back there. So they're probably a little grumpy because they're being told they have to leave. It used to just kind of happen occasionally based on sporadic complaints. So I got this new trash picker contraption thing and it's cool and all that stuff but it is so much heavier that my wrist is... Oh dear. Alright, so let's take a look.
So my suspicion is that because of the number of big gulps and pizza and chili dog boxes, this 7-Eleven definitely creates a lot of trash in the neighborhood. So it's gonna be interesting to see if there's a trash can at this 7-Eleven. I'm gonna put money on there not being a trash can. And of course, why wouldn't there be a trash can? So my shame for the day is to this stupid 7-Eleven here. Not a trash can in sight. Oh, they do have a giant dumpster. Let's see if it's unlocked. No, it's locked. See, look, this entire shopping center and not a single trash can. So check this out, Big Gulp, pizza, all that stuff, chips, how the hell does that 7-Eleven get, get away with not having a trash can? So I think what we're gonna do is at least touch the bridge. I could spend a couple hours in that zone over there. Probably would be best to save that one. Let's see how the, the bridge is. And if it's not that bad, then maybe we can make a lot more progress that way. Pull in the fence. There's some tents up here, so I'm not gonna go much further. So right there is the merge. That's the five north, and that's the 10 east on the right. And they merge through Boyle Heights and cut over Hollenbeck Park as a bridge over there. Four freeways, including the 60. So I'm happy to report that this area is not too bad. Another big goal. That 7-Eleven is like 90% responsible for all the litter in this neighborhood. So this part of the bridge was built in the late 1950s.
with the old 1950s railing, which is really low. State of California notice to vacate campsite. Every person who camps or lodges or stores property on state property without permission is guilty of a misdemeanor. The irony of that notice creating more litter. So off in the distance you can see very faintly the Hollywood sign, the Griffith Observatory, Mount Wilson in the background. Behind those palm trees is a little snow cap now we got a dusting of snow I came here to pick up trash on the bridge and ended up doing everything but so those are the you know the lights on the bridge have been out when they built the bridge they had uh, no ability to protect the wiring from people who are hungry for copper So we're going over the 101. So on the other side of the berm is Interstate 5, Interstate 10. And this is the 101. The old bridge, I, I think a lot of people know the story about it, but 1932, so it was uh, a later bridge. The 6th Street Bridge was built with a special blend of concrete that tended to completely disintegrate after 100 years. So with the bridge ending its lifespan, it was torn down with much controversy in 2016. And for several years, squabbles on the bridge design ended up with this beauty right here. From what I understand, one of the coolest things about this bridge is its seismic redundancy. So only time and an earthquake will tell, but the bridge is supposed to be very structurally redundant, which is good. I would hate to think that one day I would be having my escape from LA and the only bridge over the river is this one. Absolutely stunning weather. You can see, I wish I had something better than my GoPro on me today, but you can see all the way down to Palos Verdes. All over the downtown skyline, all the way into the San Gabriel Valley, into the mountains. So I am very relieved because I've got this new picker here, and it's fine. It was more expensive than the previous one that I had, 
But the unfortunate thing is that it is a great deal heavier than my other one. So I wouldn't even care about the expense. I'd love to get my hands on something that's super lightweight. But check this out. They got the wires on every single box. Life's smallest challenges are sometimes the most difficult to fix. In this case, it's probably a couple tens or maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of copper wiring, which is a shame. At least there are trash cans on the bridge. So look at that. You have trash cans and you have less litter. So you used to have an awesome skyline view from here, but now this giant building has blocked a lot of it out. These are the train tracks that run on both sides of the LA River here. Uh, I wish I had a zoom lens right now. You can see the, uh, I can see the snow-capped mountains behind the palm trees over there. So this is the, the helix that's going to bring it down to the park down here. So right now it's just kind of a industrial dystopia. But very chill if you want to come over the bridge at night, it's pretty safe. So it looks like they finally got strict on trespassing. We used to be able to go onto the train tracks around here that looks like they've got it all fortified. Uh-oh. All right, so it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was when we got here. That's turning into a little bit of a mess pit. People just chuck the trash over the edge. So it's kind of a cool helix here. Some pedestrian bridges going to and fro. So 
So I think what I'm going to do is come back the opposite side of the bridge and I have the benefit of doing it by going up this turn back bridge. It doesn't appear to be a trash can on the side of the bridge, so... We'll just hoof it across this Mad Max style highway. These stairs have never opened. I guess they're gonna wait until the park's done. Someone busted open the chain link fence. Let's live a little dangerously. Wow, that's pretty cool. These are like uh, pirate stairs. Forbidden. I don't mind cleaning forbidden stairs. So this side of the bridge isn't too bad. I can't really say all that much for the bike lane. The bike lane in both directions is pretty bad. There's a lot of, uh, it's like a, the shoulder of a freeway. So it was very nice for a couple people to stop and thank me for doing this. I guess uh, trash has been a little bit of a problem in the last couple of months actually since it opened ever since the very beginning it's been abused as a public space but i still like it i haven't given up hope i think it's pretty awesome and once people learn how to behave it will be a source of pride once again probably around the time of the olympics So lucky me, I got away with only doing half the bridge. We're doing a little bit of Hollenbeck Park. So I think we got enough battery to do one more spot.
So here we are. I think that's where we're going to declare mission accomplished. So we're going to end this video in the wild and majestic East LA Interchange. This is the place to catch your sunset. It's slightly trespassing but nobody cares. So thank you for watching and thanks for hoofing it with me today. So we'll see where we're going to head next. <laughs>